Welcome to Morning Coffee Diet. Guys, this is kind of neat. Uh, you and I, we're going to have fun. And I'm going to tell you why. What is different right now with this video versus the other video? Whoa! It's a green screen. Wow! What happened in my kitchen? Okay. Well, you guys know for a long time, not long time, but uh, I'm taking a room and... I'm changing it to uh, a studio. So, and I haven't, this is the first time I haven't even uh, uh, trying to see if the lighting works with the uh, green camera. So I actually recording live on a camera um, right here. So my expectations is that I'm, I'm going to record this video live. You can see me try to do it live. And then I'm going to try to recut this and I'll put it on the same channel so you can see what it looks like before and after and the main thing is i'm trying to see if um if i could get the um the lighting correctly to get everything correctly so this is right now is an experiment this is the first time i'm doing an experiment with the studio um i'm going to show you um i'm going to show you guys like you know i'm building the green screen you can see here yes that's my ghost so, um, like I said, I'm, I'm still, I'm still working it out. You know, like I said, um, I'm trying to, it's a working process, but, um, you guys know, I like toys. You can see a lot of my toys. So it, 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 it's a working process. So I'm recording this, like I said, I'm recording this live and I'm also doing it on camera. So, we're going to go back to the show. I kind of just, like I said, this is uh, fun for me. So, you get to see me trying to do this in person, uh, trying to make something special, trying to build my own studio and, and you know, have fun, make, build, or build a studio out of a bedroom. So, it's not like a studio studio. So, okay. Now, guys, world's best coffee or coffee of the week. I decided to change the title to a world's best coffee since I got some great coffee that was sent to me from Manchester, UK. You guys remember about a week ago? And so I decided that, hey, I'm going to do one coffee a week. So look at all these. These are three other bags from Manchester, UK. So I'm actually going to be making a video um, almost every day, every other day, uh, doing these coffees this week and trying to find out is the Manchester UK coffee good? Now, of course, they get it from another country too, but it's brewed and it's, you know, it's made in Manchester and it got sent to me. Um, I also bought some snacks from other countries at a store. I'm going to be doing some uh, world's best snacks, try them out, try them live. That's going to be fun. So uh, bear with me with the green screen. If it bothers you, I apologize. I just want to do this live to show you what I'm doing. To show you this is real. This is real life. This ain't no professional studio, professional uh, uh, people. So, but let's do what makes the show great. Let's open this up. First time opening it up. Um, you can see that it's a um, it's a it's a light it's a light brown color, not not very strong smelling, but usually a light a lighter rose that's not dark that's black. You know, usually a lighter rose don't have that you know that much. So. And yes, I know uh, shows back that you guys saw me have a manual grinder, but you know what, guys? For this, bring downstairs. I'm going to cheat. I'm heating up the water. Man, I put up some brand new uh, plugins. And every time you put in brand new plugins, they're always like extra, you know, tough for the first time. Uh, when you hear that coffee grind, beautiful sound. Seriously, guys, it's a beautiful sound. Get that 
soft. Then what I always like to do is kind of hit it right here. It helps to it helps to get it out. Mm. Yes. I'll put this right here. Nice and grounded. Now this now I went out and I bought white filters, pour over filters, the white ones. Now if you remember the video back, I had brown filters. And most brown filters have a, a cardboard flavor. So you have to wet it down first, try to get that cardboard flavor out. But when you get a white filter, it doesn't have that issue. So I don't have to um, water it down or anything. Uh, I don't know, this brand is BioLiti. That's uh, what I bought here. So that's what I bought here. So, all right, I already got the um, water hot. Oh, you know what? <laughs> duh, duh. I gotta pour into the grinds, right? Or I'm all, all I'm drinking is hot water. See, I almost made a mistake. So here we go. Ooh, this is so exciting. And to keep my coffee fresh. Ah, to keep the coffee fresh. Here we go. Oh, oh guys, screwed that up again. I'm supposed to pour it in here first. But that's all right. I'll pour a little bit less. Here we go. See? I almost made a few mistakes right there. But, of course, I got some more grinds here, so I'll use this upstairs. And we'll just let it, we'll just let it drain. Yeah, so this is very exciting. I even uh, bought a cheap little um, microphone. I mean, you're not going to hear the difference unless you watch uh, when I cut this later. So uh, I want to see how, how this little cheap little microphone works, if the voices get better or not. So hopefully it, 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 it sounds better. And you guys get to be able to switch back and forth. And let me know in the comments, hey, the microphone works pretty good. It does sound better or not. You know, I don't even know how um, I'm going to sound in this room. You know, the echoing. So this is, this is exciting. This is great. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. So while that's draining, so how are you guys Thanksgiving? Uh, man, my Thanksgiving was great. Uh, my turkey came out perfect. Every piece of the turkey was, uh, it was just perfect, guys. It was just perfect. Um, you know, um, I didn't go to the movies this weekend because there really wasn't nothing to go watch. There were, it was kind of a... a Slow weekend because I already saw Knives Out last week, so you know, so I didn't see it. Um, you know, there's a um, somebody asked me, um, about the Mandal Mandalorian, uh, how do you like the uh, Mandalorian so far? And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna uh, tell you guys, I love the Mandalorian, absolutely love, love that show. It's only like Every episode's like uh, 30 minutes. Uh, one was 36 minutes. This last one was like 40 minutes. It's not an hour. It's it, it, it's not long, but it's perfect because you know the you know Game of Thrones is beautiful because there's a lot of actors, a lot of actresses, and there's a lot of dialogue. So Game of Thrones needed that hour. In a, in a show like Mandalorian, it, it doesn't need the whole hour. It doesn't need that that art of conversation because the mental art doesn't really talk that much. He only talks when he needs to. So it goes right into the story. And that's what you kind of need. You don't need drawn out uh, um, scenes. And man, it's great. Now, if you're watching me here, Manchester UK, I, I apologize that, that UK don't get uh, Disney plus. I, 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 that sucks because you will love the Mandalorian. I, I, I guarantee it. You will love it. But, you know, I wish, 
you know, like I said, I wish you guys could get it, but, you know, looks like there's a message. Hold on. Okay. So, like I said, I, I wish you guys could get the Mandalorian there, but I'm telling you guys, the, the, the show's great, and I don't mind it being kind of short because it's like uh, anybody's my age who grew up in the 80s, you know, one of the best parts about heavy metal music or punk rock music, it's like three minutes. You know, those songs are like three to four minutes. They're fast, energy, boom, 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 you're out. Boom, 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 you're out. Now, it might not be like the greatest thing in the world, like a Game of Thrones episode, but let's look at it this way. Les Zeppelin song, Stairway to Heaven. Fantastic song, right? But the song is seven, eight minutes, you know. I can't listen to that song that many times because it's very long, but it's iconic, right? It's 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 fantastic. So the Les Zippa song is fantastic, but you get a good three minute punk rock song like from the Ramones, you know, energy, fun, bam, bam, you know, and you you can listen to the song like three, four more times because. The song is not as long as the Les Zeppelin song. So even though the Mandalorian is a little shorter, the show's fantastic. And Baby Yoda, who doesn't like Baby Yoda? That little sucker, man, was picking up animals. That little cute thing wanted to heal the Mandalorian. Baby Yoda, what a, what a money maker that is for Disney. Now, there is a lot of questions if you're into, like, the Star Wars galore like, 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 like I am. Okay, if, if you're really if you're really into it, you know, and you know, this is like supposed to be like five years after you know Return of the Jedi, and you know, Baby Yoda is fifty years old. So when Yoda and Obi Wan was talking about, you know, he, he's our only hope. There is another, and the other is Leia. You know, Luke's sister Leia. There's no mention of. Baby Yoda. So that stuff is kind of weird that, you know, all this stuff's happening on the side. How come none of these uh, 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 Jedis or, or Sith Lords can feel a Baby Yoda? You know? I mean, we don't know if he's a clone or not, but, you know. Oh, hey, guys. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here it is. Oh, Ocean Girl, hello, fantastic, got a message from Ocean Girl. Okay, this is the copy that I got from Manchester, UK. I waited over a week and a half to drink this live. So, there we go. Smells good. Yeah, it's good coffee. I gotta take my drink. Yeah, it's very good coffee. It's like a, um, I would call this a, more of a like a morning coffee. Uh, it, it, it's actually for for a, a light coffee, you know, light beans. It actually has a a, a strong flavor to it for a light coffee. I, I kind of like that, you know, because uh, usually you know you drink a light coffee like the the social distortion coffee that I had a couple weeks ago had a little light flavor. You know, and, and this is like in that same category, it's supposed to be light as that, but this has a little little stronger taste. And uh, yeah, I like it. It's good coffee, man. Yeah, it's a. Let me look at it one more time. I don't have my glasses, so I can't read the small the small writings. Around your company, uh, actually, it even um, tells you um, how to how to how to grind it and where to put it because it can't, okay, you know what? In case you guys don't know uh, about coffee beans, because there there is some misperception about how do you store your coffee. You know, there's even people who store their coffee in refrigerators. No, 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 you're not supposed to store coffee in refrigerators. You never, ever, ever want to do that. Because you're basically almost freezing the bean 
and the flavor that's in those cells don't expand. So when you grind it, you're not really getting the full flavor as you should. Now what I do is, oh, so tomorrow I'm gonna try PB roasting beans. But today, just in case you didn't read it, I'm using Masoon Malabar roast coffee beans. Okay, so what I do is, is I put most of my coffee in one of these suction things. Okay, I use one of these. It, it helps take the air out, and I put it in a cabinet because cabinets are dark. Okay, it's not cold, it's not frozen, it's basically room temperature. So when you brew it, that's where you get your best flavor. Now, some uh, I had an email text the other day. I can't remember if it was email or text. Somebody asked me, um, what are the best cups to use? You know, I, I know you use your Star Wars cups, you like the big ones. Is there a, a, a coffee mug that's better for, for, well, I mean, first of all, any cups, it's up to you what kind of cups you want to use. Now, but that is a good question. Is there a cup better than, than another cup? Okay, now plastic cups, my so problem with plastic cups are, you can kind of taste that it's from a plastic. I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious. It's just like this. Think of it this way. Coca-Cola. Take a bottle of Coke and take a canned Coke. If you had a choice to pick one or the other, majority of you would pick the bottle. Why would you pick the bottle over the can? Because a lot of people say the glass tastes better. Because when you drink from a can, you can kind of, you kind of, Feel that aluminum, okay? So plastic cups are the same way. Now, my opinion. Now I use a big cup because I like to sit out and drink a lot of coffee. But if you're real close to your machine, these kind of um, these are these cups here. See, these are like thick. These are thick. Uh, me and my bro, we got this at a restaurant that supports airplanes, supports military, supports all that. And, you know, these are basically based off the cups that they used to carry on uh, the Navy ships and stuff because they're thicker. Now, the best thing about, about these cups are, these kind of cups are, you don't get to pour as much as in here, but because it's thicker, it keeps your coffee harder, longer. Kind of like a mug, you know, with the caps. But, of course, you know, you can taste the metal, whatever it's in. So these cups, these thick cups, there's a certain name for them. I, I, I forgot the name of, of these kind of cups. So if one of my listeners um, can post in a comment what's the exact name, but these thick cups are a perfect size. And when you can keep the coffee warmer, longer, it's the best. Because you're not getting the plastic flavor, and, you know, and it, it just keeps coffee longer. Now, I use big cups because usually I make it in the kitchen. I go in the front room, and I want to keep going back and forth. But if I'm sitting in the kitchen, then, oh, here we go. Probably keeps it harder longer. That, that is exact, that's exactly what I was saying. It keeps the coffee hotter longer and when the coffee is warmer hotter longer the flavor is better because what is the one main thing why we keep topping off the coffee when it's in the middle because the coffee is getting a little colder and I'm not a I don't drink cold coffee I drink hot coffee so <clears throat> yeah yeah I'm liking this uh, coffee from Manchester and I can't wait to taste these other flavors I really can't wait, you know, and, and honestly, I can't wait uh, when I finish with this video so I can see what it looks like from the camera that I'm recording this other one to see what it looks like, to see how the green screen comes together because I want to do all sorts of kind of different videos for you guys. And the main thing about a green screen is trying to find that proper light. And I don't know if I had a proper light. So this is like a test. 
But, you know, this is kind of fun. You, you guys are actually on the journey with me to find the perfect lighting, the perfect sound. Like I said, I got this. You know, I, I'm actually, I'm actually going to try this little speaker out tomorrow when I do a live show on my other channel, Gypsy Road. Um, you know, um, I used to do it Tuesday at 10 a.m., but it seems like I got to drop my oldest son off to his UPS job. So usually now, instead of 10 a.m., I move those shows back to, like, 10.30, just 10.30. Uh, and I have a, a partner, bro, from the Manchester, U.K., from that part of the country that, that joins me on the show, and we talk about whatever we want to talk about. And it's kind of cool because we get to talk about the pers uh, perspective of the United States and what's the UK thinking of? I mean, it's just like um, I don't talk politics on this channel. I, I'm not. This channel is not for politics. But Donald Trump impeachment. I know how people feel around here, and by having conversation with somebody from Manchester, UK, around there, it's nice to hear a perspective from what they think, not what I hear from the news, the CNN, the Fox, and all those, because they'll favor whatever they want to favor. So it's very cool, uh, this other show that I that I do. But with this studio, guys, I'm, I'm trying to, um, you know, I'm really trying to make something special here. Um, I don't know if I, I'm thinking about maybe changing this table to something a little bigger because you can see I kind of need more room, you know. And when I start doing all these coffee tests, of course, I'm going to use my pour over to get the best flavor that I, that I could get. I, um, uh, oh, 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 okay. I, I was reading an article in the Sunday paper because, you know, our, uh, Friday, I don't know, Thursday paper for, for Black Friday. Black Friday here in the U.S. means the government's going to take all your money because you're going to go shopping because all the sales because Christmas is coming. That's what a Black Friday is in the United States. Spend all your money on a Friday. I was looking it up. There's an article about cat poop coffee, cat poop. Good article about the animals they use to eat these aren't technically cats. But I got the name of this place, right? I was reading the article. I watched some videos on these animals that eats, eats the beans, and they poop it out. And they're clean, guys. They're clean. It's not like, oh, my God, I'm not going to drink poop. Come on. They clean it. But the acids in the animal does something to the beans supposed to make it better. So I went online. and um, I ordered me some. Now, it's a small little bag because, you see that? It's like, it's like, okay. It's a good size bag, right? This, this bag I'm getting is probably just like, just this little bit for $18. It's a lot. But, but I've always wanted to try it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I always wanted to try it because some people say it's like one of the best coffees in the world. Um, I guess there's places that will charge 50 to 600 bucks a cup for that kind of coffee. So I actually got me a small little batch for 18 bucks is coming, and it's supposed to maybe make two to four cups. I know it's a lot of money, but I, I want to try it. I want to try this cat poop coffee. Uh, um. When I get it, I'll, I'll, I can't remember the name because the article is upstairs. I'll show you the name, the article. And once I get it, I'm going to do it live where I'm going to taste this. It's supposed to be the most, one of the most expensive coffees in the world. I want to taste what it's really like. So that's very, for me, guys, that's very exciting. I can't wait to try this uh, cat poop coffee. So it's going to be good. So, um. Like I said, uh, I'm going to be making some other videos. Uh, like I said, I bought these rare snacks that's from other countries. And, and some of these, I don't know if I really want to try, but you know what? God damn it. I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm going to try it on air. So uh, so I want to thank all of you for uh, joining me on this, uh, on this uh, live event. Um, like I said, uh, it's like a little bit. And normal because I'm just doing this on purpose and I thought hey if I'm gonna test this out why not do it live at the same time so we can see what's the difference between 
what it looks like with this, without this. So it's a little, it's, it's, it's exciting for me. It's exciting for me, and I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, I'll be working on this uh, video with this camera in a little bit, uh, get some splices into it, and I'll put this on. I'm trying to. Uh, I'll try to put this on the channel today. Probably, be, I'll probably uh, upload that one maybe tonight, just so people can watch this one first instead of going straight to the second one. And they're like, "What's this?" I want people to see this video first on what it looks like before you do your magic and after. And if there's anything, anything you hear wrong, the voices are off. It doesn't sound, uh, the sound doesn't sound great with the other video with this camera. Gotta let me know because I, I wanna make, I wanna make the best studio that I can. I, I really wanna make the best studio that I can. So guys, I really, I really appreciate this. And uh, if anybody's out there, uh, if you guys want to shoot me a question real quick, you know, I could do a little Q and A. Uh, I saw, I see that we got four people watching. So, does um, hell, does any of you have a question that you want uh, want me to answer? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on, you can shoot any kind of question you want. Um, you want to try, uh, is there a kind of a coffee you want me to try? Oh, if you guys watched my previous video, you guys know I tried that uh, Mickey Mouse coffee from um, Disney Parks. And, guys, I ended up throwing that coffee away. That was, uh, <laughs> that coffee ended up being horrible. It, it, it's just, it was so bad that, you know how sometimes you drink coffee, it gets better and better? Like I told you, that social distortion coffee actually got better and better. Uh, I really liked the taste where I moved it from number three up to number two on my list. Now, this Disney coffee was always last place, but this Disney coffee was so bad that I actually had to throw it away. And I don't like throwing away uh, uh, coffee. You know, I'll, I'll drink every single bean to the end. You got to get the coffee respect. Okay? And... I ended up throwing away that Disney coffee. If you haven't watched that video, watch the, the, the Disney coffee. And it was way overpriced. That coffee actually, uh, in the, you know, cost more than the cat poop coffee that, that, that I just ordered. And that I'm really um, excited to try. So, so I want to thank everybody from the UK, Manchester. Thank you for sending me this coffee. That was fantastic. I really um, appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And um, I'm going to be, uh, like I said, I'm going to cut this video, try to make the best that I can. And, uh, guys, thank you for joining me today. Um, so tomorrow, about 11 o'clock, I'm just making 11. I, I drop my son off about 11, about 11 a.m. tomorrow, Pacific time. I'm going to do another video to try the second bag of coffee here. From Manchester, UK. I don't want to wait once a week because there's five. I love it when the beans are more fresher. So tomorrow I am going to be having another live show at 11. And whatever's happening in the world, you guys want to bring up, talk about it. Guys, let's do it. Thank you. Join my studio. And like I said, you know, like I said, it's 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 a uh, it's a working process. That that ghost um, was outside, and I thought I don't have a door for. Um, I don't have a door right now to my little hallway, so I, I just put it right there. That's why. Of course, that's my little spaceship. You can see the toys and, of course, the green screen. So this, this whole thing is a, a, it's a, it's a working process. So uh, all right, guys. I'll talk to you later. See you later, guys. Uh, thank you very much.